All right, so I'm going to show you kind of like the uh, timeline of how things have been going. Um, so I got paid. I got my first YouTube paycheck May 21st um, for this amount. Uh, I'm, I made a bit more than this based off of what it said on my like YouTube account. But um, for some reason, I only got paid this much, this much. And then the next payment is supposed to come next month, something like that. I don't really know how it works, but this is how much I got. Um, and then I took the money and put it into um, a Webull account. This is the website that I'm using for my stock portfolio. I'm not, by the way, I'm not sponsored by this in any way. Um, I'm just showing you guys, documenting everything. Um, the, the reason why I went with this, I was going to go with Robinhood. It took me like five, I spent like five, ten minutes of research just which stock website should I use. Um, and I was going to go with Robinhood because I, that's the one that I've heard of and I guess it's popular. So I was going to go with that. But I did like a couple minutes of research and I've heard some negative things about uh, Robinhood. So I chose not to go with it. And then I went with the second option that showed up on my page and it was this website. And then I did another couple minutes of research, background research on it. Um, and so far they said some pretty good things about it. They said it's pretty beginner friendly. No real issues with it. They also have this... Um, promotion thing where it's like if you deposit more than five hundred dollars you get tw and keep it for 30 days you get 20 free fractional shares whatever that means um so i said why not and then i opened the account and then i took this money this thousand twenty nine dollars and 25 cents and put it into my webull account i went over the website briefly like very briefly but if i'm being completely honest i don't really know what's going on um, and how this works. Again, I'm just as lost in it as anybody else. But this is my account. Here is the transfer history to show you guys. I deposited the exact amount that I made from here. Put it here. So I have the, uh, have the money in the account um, and I can use this to buy stocks. They said it's really beginner friendly um, and maybe it is, but I'm still sort of lost. The, only, the biggest thing that I'm confused about is like, why are there so much stuff? Like, what is all this? Um, and then, like, how do you buy stocks? Like, it should, like, what is this page? Like, this is, what is this? Okay, so, real quick, this is the one video that I watched. Again, I'm not sponsored. I'm not really promoting this video or this guy in any way. It's just, I just want to document everything um, from start to finish. This is the one video that I watched to try to learn as much as I could about stocks. I typed uh, stocks for beginners and then I found this website. Um, it was an hour long and I sat through it and I watched it. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. Again, I'm not sponsored by this guy. I'm not promoting this guy in any way. I'm just showing you guys that this is what the video that I watched to learn what I know about stocks. I think I learned a couple things from here. Um, but to be honest, I'm still kind of lost. Yeah, again, my biggest thing is like, okay, so 65.85, I'm assuming is the stock price. Like, can I not buy a dollar's worth? Do I have to buy 65.85? And what is this? What is quantity 10? What is order type? I might have to like do more research and invest tomorrow. I think for today, I'm just gonna kind of go over the YouTube comments. This is the YouTube video that I posted a couple days ago, or actually it was four weeks ago. <laughs> um, this is my first time going through the comments. Um, actually, no, I went through the comments uh, once when I first posted the video, like as soon as it uploaded, I got a couple comments. So I went um, through the comments briefly, responded to some. But this is the first time I'm actually like, you know, kind of going through it. So um, I don't know what to invest in. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to kind of rely on you guys or people in the comments. This is my first time I'm going to go over um, the comments live with you guys. All right, so I saw this comment. He explained what a CPM said. I think in this video, I mentioned that um, I didn't know what a CPM meant. Where was the CPM from? Was it from a stock? Oh, no, it was from when I got paid on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Okay. It said something about YouTube said CPM. Okay. I remember. And I remember I didn't know what a CPM meant. Okay, so I know I've heard of the S&P 500. So here's what I was thinking. So I actually talked with one of my friends and told him that I was going to invest in a stock portfolio. And he told me to pretty much if you want to, 
you know, do it the smart way is to invest in um, index funds um, or the S&P 500, for example. He said something called the VOO. VOO, I don't know what that is. Let me... Yeah, Vanguard S&P 500. Um, this. So he told me to invest in this. Um, and it looks like, you know, pretty much the top comment is telling me to do that as well. So that's probably one I'm going to go with. Again, I'm thinking today is not going to be the day that I actually invest because I don't even know how to buy the stock. Um, I want to make sure I know what all of this means before I actually place the order. But yeah, I'm kind of just going to read through your guys' comments. Um, I'm not trading. I'm not going to trade, by the way. This My plan is to just put it into some stocks and just leave it there. And then every time I get paid, I'll just keep adding money maybe into new stocks or whatever. I'm open to change throughout this journey. But the one thing I know I'm not going to do is I'm not going to trade. That's that's going to be certain. I'm not going to trade. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to invest in crypto. I don't want to invest in crypto. I have a traumatic experience from crypto. So I don't, just the personal thing, I'm sorry, I don't want to invest in any cryptos. Um, don't use leverage, borrowed money. Okay, claims to own an SMMA doesn't know what a CPA. <laughs> All right, so I saw this comment in the beginning. It made me laugh. So I, I like it. Yeah, I don't know what a CPM is. Um, never heard of it. You don't, I mean, I didn't need to know what a CPM meant to run my SMMA. But this, <laughs> this made me laugh. Invest into ETFs. What's an ETF? Exchange Traded Fund. What is that? Do I type it here? Okay, it says S&P 500. Is that, is that the same thing? Collect bunch of companies. Oh, okay, so I'm assuming an ETF is sort of like an e, uh, index fund. So what I know about the S&P 500 is that instead of investing into um, just like one stock, for example, like Walmart specifically or like Chipotle and these individual companies, an index fund is just a group of all the top companies. So example, so the S&P 500 is the top 500 companies like App, Apple. I don't know what, what the companies are, but it's pretty much instead of you investing into one individual stock, you're investing into a group of all the top stocks. So even if one stock, I guess, does bad, it's okay because you still have, you know, the other group. Um, so there's less, a lot less risk with it. Um, but at the same time, it's, I guess, more like a long-term thing. It's not really for or short-term growth. It, keeps, it minimizes the amount of money you lose within a short period of time, but it also caps the amount of money you can make within a short period of time. So, all right, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I invest like 80% of the money into like index funds, uh, more like long-term growth funds. And then the rem the remaining 20%, like I just have fun with it, like individual stocks. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm thinking. But no crypto. I'm not doing crypto. Um, someone asked what mic I use. Um, it's a Cinco G2. There you go. You got crypto? No. VOO. Okay, so this guy said VOO, which is the... Right, that's the S&P. Okay, yeah. Okay, so so far everyone's just saying invest into the S&P. What's this? I don't know what this is, but I'm cool with it. Is this also like an index fund? What's the difference between an index fund and an ETF? Okay. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what this means. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to do a lot more research on my end. This is a lot more complicated than I initially thought it would be. But yeah, I'm going to spend more time on this and check back tomorrow. This is probably the strategy I'm going to go with, though. I'm going to go with the 80% into like long, long term investments and then also 20% into just um, individual stocks or even penny stocks, whatever. Someone said uh, N NVDA. I actually have a friend who's I, like my friends have been talking about this. I might have to look into it as well. Maybe I'll put some money into it. But here's my thing in 
investing into stocks that are kind of already trending it's kind of like the growth like it already grew if that makes sense it's kind of like i'm buying at its peak you know is that something that i really or it's kind of like i'm buying at its top you know moment like is that something i really want to do i feel like i should be buying stocks that are doing bad but i know that they could be good you know buy low sell high that's that's the one thing i learned when i invested into bitcoin a while back okay so i was about to close but someone this comment's kind of interesting can i you can buy currencies as a stock like how does do i type yen can i buy is this is it this what is this how do you how do you invest in a currency what's another currency one okay i never mind all right so it's a new day um i did some more research this is the video that i watched i watched a uh, tutorial video for Rebull. um i'm gonna put both these links in the description of my video again i'm not promoting this in any way this is just showing you guys what i used i literally just typed Rebull for beginners and i found this video and i watched it um so i i do have a better understanding of i guess how this works so one thing i learned from watching that video was that the Weeble app is a lot more beginner friendly and a, and a lot easier to use than the website um, the website kind of makes it look more complicated than it should be the app is a lot cleaner and you know easier to navigate through um, so i'm going to use the app and while i was looking through the app i saw a thing where it said like refer somebody or someone uses your referral link and you get like 10 free fractional shares or something um, so i thought about getting a link and putting it in the description of you know this video but i'm not going to do that i don't want people to think that i'm doing this um i guess to market or to make money out of it this is just to show people what i'm doing i'm not even going to put a link a referral link i'll put a link to the two youtube videos that i watched um and then i'll put maybe i'll put a weeble link like weeble.com i mean i'm not even going to put that you can look it up yourself but yeah i'm not again i just want to tell people that i'm not sponsored i'm not doing this to make money and this isn't also this is not um financial advice i feel like i have to say this i don't want someone messaging me saying hey thomas i followed your exact strategy and lost all this money this is purely entertainment this could not i i want to make this as clear as i possibly can this is just entertainment not financial advice this is my account um so i'm gonna buy voo which is pretty much the s p 500 and i'm just gonna buy it uh, so turns out a uh, limit or i watched this video and they kind of explained um this part which i was confused on yesterday uh, but basically long story short i want to click market they said that that's the easiest way um i need to put in my password okay also um quantity 10 so i was confused on this part so they told me to sh change the share to dollars so i don't so this is one share I'm, I'm just teaching you guys what i learned so far right the cost to buy one share of voo is 484 but for me i want to buy like partial okay i'm i'm not good at explaining this but basically just change this to dollars and then put in how much dollars i want to invest so i have a thousand dollars into in um my account i'm gonna put uh 800 right 80 uh, percent i'm not gonna touch anything else and in place order right i'm scared do i do i buy something do i buy it am i missing something okay my buying power okay i'm just gonna do it what I can only buy during stocks during a certain time of day. Wait. Wait, you can only buy stocks during the weekday? No way. Okay. Um then I'll see I'll I guess I'll come back tomorrow. 
All right, so it is the next day, um, Monday. I've been pretty busy today. Um, I woke up at 7, and by the time I realized it, it was already 12. Did a lot of work today, got on a couple calls. I have, a, I have some other calls later today as well, so I'm pretty packed for today. But I'm free right now, so I'm going to buy some stocks because apparently you can't buy during the weekend. Um, so I should be able to do it now. I had some thought about this um or i gave this some thought last night so my original plan was to invest 80 percent into the s p 500 which is supposedly a safe option and then invest the rest into uh some individual stocks and i thought about it and like safe option is great and all but i feel like i'm doing this for entertainment and for fun so i want to make it less than 80 percent and invest more into individual stocks I'm thinking instead of 80%, maybe 50% um, into the S&P and then the other 50% into just random individual stocks that I find interesting. So I don't know if you can see it, but the cost of a VOO stock is 483.44. I'm just thinking of buying like just one, one share of this. This is what it looks like. Buying one share at this price. Do I want to buy? Yes. Bought it. So it shows up in my uh, stock portfolio now. Um, VOO. Okay, so I have $545.67 left. I'm thinking of choosing, putting like $100 into five individual stocks and then the remaining $45.67 into just some random unheard of stock uh, just for fun. So the five stocks that I... Um, was thinking of is first NVIDIA and NVIDIA NVIDIA did some research and this was one of the popular ones to be honest I did some research on what the company is and I don't completely understand it but it's popular so I'm going to invest in it and then I can kind of track it uh, we could kind of track it together gonna buy put a hundred dollars into this so you can either choose to buy a share or put in a fractional share with US dollars all you got to do is click this and turn and it turns it into a share and then you click it and then it turns into USD I'm putting in a hundred buy confirm all right that was easy next all right the next stock that I'm gonna invest in is Google I tried to see if there was like a YouTube stock, but they're apparently Google and YouTube is connected. So um, if you want to invest in YouTube, you just invest in Google. And there's like two Googles. There's G-O-O-G and then G-O-O-G-L. Um, but I found that they're both pretty much the same thing. So I'm investing in the G-O-O-G. Don't really know what the difference is. But again, buying a fractional share, putting in $100. Okay. Buy. Confirm, done. All right, so the next stock that I'm going to invest in is Upwork. You can probably guess why. I thought, why not? Um, I use Upwork, so might as well invest in it. Again, I feel like I have to reiterate this again. I know I did it um, yesterday, I think, but just to reiterate, this is not financial advice. This is purely just purely entertainment okay so the cost of a share for upwork is ten dollars and 55 cents and i can't put in a fractional share of a hundred dollars because a hundred dollars is more than ten dollars and 55 cents so i need to buy shares instead so i'll just buy 10 shares uh, instead of putting usd it might come out to a bit over hundred dollars yeah, it's $105, uh, but whatever. Buy, buy, bought it. Okay, so I have 10 shares of Upwork. So the next stock that I'm going to invest in is GME, GameStop. Uh, someone in the comments told me to do it. So I've heard of the GameStop stock going crazy, like I think it was a couple years ago. Was it a couple years ago or a couple months ago? I don't remember, but I saw it in like the news or like 
different articles. Um, I don't know why they're telling me to invest in it now. I feel like the craze has kind of died down. And to be honest, I'm not a fan of GameStop. Like, I remember I would go in to try to trade in my Xbox. And they would try to, like, give me really bad prices for it. Um, so I have bad experiences with GameStop. I'm not a fan of it. But people are telling me to buy it. I know what it is. So why not? Uh, this one, again, it's the stock is less than $100, so I can't buy a fractional share unless there's another way for me to put in exactly $100 into a stock that's less than $100, if that makes sense. If somebody can, somebody can, if somebody knows, then please tell me how to do it. But right now in the app, the only two options I have is to buy a share and then to buy, you know, a fractional share with USD. But if I put $100 into the USD, it tells me that I have to, that the number that I put can't be higher than the actual share cost. So the only other option I have is to buy a share. Like it won't let me buy like 3.1 shares. Um, it has to be like whole numbers, apparently. For example, the stock is $30. If I buy three shares, it's $90. Um, Oh, okay, so I buy three shares, it's $90, and then I buy it again as a fractional for the remaining 10. Okay, figured it out. So the stock is $30. I'm going to buy three shares of it, that's $90, confirm, done. And then I'm going to buy again, but put it as a USD fractional share, and then invest $10, so the remaining $10. And now I should have $100 into the stock. All right, so this is what my profile looks like. Um, I have $100 into these four stocks, All right? And the final uh, $100 stock that I'm going to invest in, Chipotle, because I like Chipotle. All right, so this is what my stock portfolio looks like. Um, pretty good, I like it. The only thing I'm kind of iffy about is the GameStop one because I'm not a fan of GameStop. Um, now I have $40 and eight cents of cash remaining. Should I invest in crypto? I have $40 remaining. Okay, so I've been spending like the past hour trying to figure out where to invest this remaining $40. And I think I found one. I couldn't really find one that, you know, interested me in some way. Um, so I just went on Google and I typed, what are some fun stocks to invest in? And the first stock that showed up was a stock called Lemonade. And I thought that was pretty funny. So um, I'm going to invest in it. Apparently, it's a AI-powered insurance company. Um, why not? I like the name. Lemonade. $16. I'm going to buy it. Again, um, I want to make it very, very clear. This is not financial advice. Do not follow me. Um, watch me for fun. Um, and we can kind of grow this account together. Um, using the YouTube money that I make. I have my investment portfolio all set up now. I don't know if you can see it, but this is what it looks like. I bought one share of VOO, the S&P 500, and then I invested in six companies, uh, NVIDIA, Google, Upwork, GameStop, Chipotle, and Lemonade. So yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to just keep it here. I'm not really going to pay attention to it. I'm not really going to look at it. It's just every month, um, once I get paid, I will check back and then uh, create a new video on it and update you guys. But yeah, that's my stock portfolio. Uh, we'll see how this goes.